Terrell Alvin McCraney's play In the Red and Brown Water tells the story of a promising track star who foregoes college to take care of her ailing mother. Jacqueline Thompson is here to tell us more about the story and the roles they play. She's director of the play. Jacqueline, welcome. Thank you. Tell me more about this, this, this plot line okay, here. So First, Terrell Alvin McCraney's work has never been done in St. Louis, so I'm really excited to bring this show to the region. He has a trilogy of plays called The Brother Sister Plays, mm -hmm. and these, these three plays deal with um, a little bit of elements of, uh, from the Yoruba culture, icons, mythology, some of the characters' names are these um, Yoruba gods. Mm -hmm. And so he's taken th this element and kind of fused it with some contemporary issues and contemporary stories. And um, In the Red and Brown is the first of that trilogy. And it is a story of Oya. She's a track star. And she has these life choices that she has to make and, you know, deciding to take care of her mother or to go run and the people that she spends her time with. And so I thought it was a really important show to do because my students, they have those life choices coming up on graduation and things like that. And it's a story of you never escape the consequences of your choices. And I thought that was something really powerful and profound to have them work with. It's very rich in African culture. Yes. Um, is that because the playwright is from Africa? No, actually he's from Miami. Okay. And he talks about um, just being in Miami though and, and kind of um, encountering some of those people that were of the Yoruba tradition and kind of important things and wisdom on, in his life and him just kind of like taking that and taking his background and his religion and just fusing you know, those two together. So it's, I say it's, it's very loosely based on those things. How many plays uh, does a, a UMSO put on each year there? Uh, we do about four a year. Oh, wow. Why did you guys choose this one? I chose this one because this playwright, I followed his work. He's a young playwright. He's new. He's awesome. And it had never been done. And again, just wanting my students to have some material that they connect to. I think it's really good to study classical pieces. It's really good to also uh, take on new playwrights material mm -hmm. and to also, you know, have a, a wealth of knowledge of what's contemporary and what's new and what's fresh. You take a lot for this. Always does. How long Always does. It does. Take? We rehearse about a month, six to ten, Monday through Friday. Friday, Saturday, 10 to 2. So it's a very grueling process. But for those students that want to go into professional theater, this is this is a training ground. So it, it teaches them the discipline and the focus and the commitment that it takes to do this. This is a sort of role reversal in mm -hmm. that the child is making sacrifices to take care of the parent. Yeah. You think that's common these days? I think it's definitely common. I think that's, I, I hear stories all the time of my students having to, you know, take care of their, their siblings and mm -hmm. make these choices. And that's another thing. I, I like to do shows that they can connect with. I like to do pieces that um, resonate in their lives, and so that, that was really important. Yeah. Now, the show is not actually uh, uh, started yet, right? No, it opens this Thursday, October 9th through the 12th. But you guys have been rehearsing a lot. We've been rehearsing the whole month, yeah. Tell me about the scene that probably is going to really... Draw people yes. in. The, the scene that gets me every night is the actual, I'll call it Moja's transition. That's the mother and her scene. I don't want to say what happens, but this dancing. Oh, Andrea Peebles is my choreographer. I've been infused it with dance. It did okay. not have dance in it. And Weedy Brahma is uh, my musical Forgot director. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Weedy Brahma and Andrea Peoples um, have done some amazing things and brought movement to the piece. And it's, it has a lot of mysticism in it. It's not just a linear play. It's a lot of uh, mysticism. So they've done some things that have made it really what aesthetically amazing. What do you mean by amazing. mysticism? I have oh, no idea. Oh, you have you to come see. That? You have to come see. It is not a linear play. There's some mystery. There's some surprises. It's not your everyday linear play. So. Oh, and how did you find the people that were going to star in this or Oh, they star. audition. My students audition and they come in and they, you know, they have a cold mm -hmm. reading. I give them a, a piece from the play and, you know, the ones that um, dedicate themselves get cast and work through it. And yeah. of course she says, my students, mm -hmm. therefore we know now that she's obviously a teacher. Yeah. Uh, you're assistant professor? I am assistant professor of theater at UMSL. And yeah. you're also the director. Yes, I act so, and direct as well. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and that, that came from where? Oh, my childhood. I was, the, <laughs> I was the, <laughs> the quiet child that didn't talk a lot, but play with the Barbies and use that creativity to kind of go out and do what I do. So, um, yeah, theater artist first, yeah. And yeah. where on the campus is this play taking place? It is at the Two Hill Performing Arts Center, the Lee Theater, uh, October 9th through the 12th. Oh, great. Yeah. Thank you for coming Thank on. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And can't wait to see what the play is all about. Thank Sounds you. Hope like you make fun. it out. Thanks. You have from October 9th through the 12th to catch In the Red and Brown Water, presented by the University of Missouri-St. Louis. For times and tickets, visit twohill.org or call 314-516-4949.
Coming up, actor, singer Christopher Williams, oh, and uh, Tony and Trisha Grant from the play Mrs. Independent performed recently at the Fox Theater. Should be fun. Stay tuned.